I've sent over 30,000 emails in less than 3 days to prove it's easy for anyone to do the same. In this video, I want to share with you a powerful code email marketing software called Woodpecker that I used in sending over thousands of code emails in less than 3 days. This video is divided into 3 sections which are number 1 is how to import your email list, how to connect a sending email address for free and lastly how to start blasting your emails every single day. So let's go. Now you want to come over to your browser and you want to search for woodpecker.co i might even leave the link down in the video description for easy access but i want you to note that i'm not an athlete for the software neither am i promoting it to you my intention is just to only share its good work with you so that those of you struggling to send code emails can be helped using this very cool email marketing software now, once you are here on this page, you can take your time to go through it to find out more details and helpful information about Woodpecker. Now, I'll go ahead and show you how to create an account on Woodpecker and I need you to follow me closely and much more attentively. Now, you can see right here where we have the start free trial. You want to go ahead and click on start free trial right here. And don't worry, I know you might be thinking you will need to add your credit card to proceed, but you don't need that to continue using the Woodpecker software to start sending your code emails. Okay, so right here, you just have to input your personal information such as your first name i'm going to do that really quick and here where it says you need to have a company name don't worry about this you just go ahead and put in any random company name that you can think of all right so this is very good now you can see that we have to impute our work email so make sure to use your email account because this is the same email address you will constantly use in logging into your account and this also doesn't mean that this email address you have here will be used in sending out your code emails if you want to use it fine you can go ahead and use it but maybe you already have provision for a sending email address i'm going to show you how to connect that before you start sending out your code emails now i want you to go ahead and put in a strong password that only you can remember and once that is done please make sure to cross check all that you have imputed and once done so check mark this boss here to receive updates about your emails and also free expert tips to help you get better with every of your email campaigns so for me i'm going to go ahead and click on start free trial all right here we have a newly created dashboard for ourselves with woodpecker so it is easy to do a lot of things on those software such as adding your prospect i mean adding your email list here tracking your campaigns adding a reply to email address which makes it easy for you to manage all your replies easily and also you can create an email template now coming over to the prospect page let's go ahead and add our email list to the software now you can see here where we have add prospect you want to click on it and you see that we have a drop down where we get to pick how we want to import our email list into woodpecker for code emailing there are three options here okay and you can see that you can either import your email list by uploading a file or we can also import manually and lastly by integrating other implications directly on woodpecker all right, so let me show you what I'm basically saying. To import manually, you want to click on manually right here. You see what it looks like. Now, what you need to do is you have to just type in the email address of your prospect, also the first name, the last name, and any other information you might have concerning them. So for me, honestly, this can be a tiring thing to do at some point. So I prefer the upload file method. I'm going to go back and I'm going to click on import right here. So here, all I have to do is to find and select the file where I have my email list in. Then once I've been able to choose that, you want to make sure you select this option here that says ignore the new entry and keep the existing contacts intact. So this is the option you have to choose. And once you've been able to choose this option, you want to go ahead and click on upload and import. All right, good. So right here, you can see that we have to match our data together. And the reason is because my email list file has so many tables. And this is what I am talking about. A lot of tables here means that I will need to match them together to fit that of Woodpecker's own. So for the name column, I will select the first name. For the full address as well, I'm going to go ahead and select the address here as well. So I hope you understand what I'm trying to do. You can always ask me your questions below or you can basically rewatch any part of the video to understand better. So I will just quickly do that for the email address column and also for the phone contact column because those are the main things that I will be needing to send out my code emails. Now, once I'm done with matching them up, I'm going to go ahead and click on import. 
so now you get to see that our email list has been imported successfully and you see that out of 400 plus emails only 388 was imported which means that 87 were duplicate five were bad emails so apart from you just using this tool to send code emails woodpecker automatically detects the bad emails from the good ones so go ahead and click on go to prospect to continue so now you see that we have all the good emails already imported successfully into our account so now it's time to add a sending email address so a sending email address is the email address you want to use in sending your code emails on woodpecker on the top right here you see we have a notification that says add email account you want to click on it and right here we are provided with three major email providers which are the gmail office 365 and exchange so for me i love doing this manually and doing it manually can actually be much more faster all right so what you want to do right now is you can just add up your own email address and its password to quickly connect your sending account here on woodpecker and this is the fastest amongst all so once you've been able to do that quickly go ahead and click on automatic connection so that woodpecker does all the work for you all right, so you can see, go to see this. We have successfully added up our own sending account and this is the time to add your signature and this is what it looks like. I know many of you might not be interested in these things, but I tell you that if you do all those things, you would actually have your emails looking much more professional. So many of you have basically seen things like this beneath someone's email and it is basically called email signature. Now you can start by changing the name to anything you prefer and right under it, if you desire to add an external link to any of your profile details, all you need to do is simply just highlight it, click on this icon here, okay, you want to go ahead and add the external link and click on add. So it is very, very easy for you to have your own signature here on Woodpecker. Now, once done and satisfied, you want to click on save and you see that we have successfully added out our sending account and also its signature. Now, it's time for you to start blasting out your emails. You want to come over to campaigns at the top. Now, go ahead and click on add campaign. So basically, please make sure to choose the sending email address. And once you've been able to do that, please scroll down. And here where we have the subject, you want to put in your subject line and below it is where you want to add in your message body. So once you've been able to do all of that, you can see at this corner here, this is basically where you're going to be finding the time frame. So yeah, you can also do things like scheduling your emails and many other things right from this place. Now, once done, you want to go down again and you want to come over to this prospect tab to select people who should receive your emails. All right. So to do that, you want to select from database option. Now, once you have selected that, then once you've been able to select that option, you can see all the leads that we have is going to get displayed right here. So for those of you who basically want to send out your emails to just a few number of persons, you can go ahead and select the ones you want to reach out to. But for me, I'm going to auto select all of these things because I want to reach out to them right now. Okay, so that's very good. Now, once you've been able to select your leads, you want to come down again to the summary tab. Okay, so to check out everything and make sure that everything is well done and ready. So you can see the whole process where we have to add in our message. We have to select the prospect. And lastly, we have to just cross check and verify that we are actually going to be sending the right message to the right people. So once you've been able to verify all of that, you can now go ahead and click on run. And that is what it takes for this software to start sending out your code emails. So this is all you have to literally do to start sending out your code emails here on Woodpecker. All right. So if you found value, just smash the like button. And also, please remember, if you have any questions, go down and ask me your questions. And don't forget to smash the like button of this video. Subscribe if you want to see more content like this. And in case you are wondering how many emails you can send and the number of contacts you can upload on Woodpecker, you can see that with this free trial, you can contact over 1,000 emails and you can have up to 100,000 products expect that's beautiful right so if you want to get more out of the software make sure to subscribe and follow me for more incoming tutorials about woodpecker until then you'll also find this very video of my helpful where i show you how to send 10,000 emails every single day without any problem so make sure to watch this video right now